First day of the dry fast, yeah. I, I didn't expect to feel this energized. I, I just, I think that in my mind, I'm going to be, it's like, I'm going to eat soon. I'm going to eat soon. Don't worry about it. It will come. So I'm not worried at all. It doesn't feel bad. It feels quite energizing. I've noticed like my heart is, is beating pretty fast. Well, not pretty fast, but faster than usual, but it's actually quite nice to recognize it. It's like making itself heard. <laughs> but yeah, I, it's nice. It's not worrying. The Felon Duffer was really beautiful. Like, you know, the whole history of it is pretty crazy. The fact that it's, it's illegal in China and everything like that because it's, it's such a high vibe thing. It heals you and it's really, really beautiful. You can feel it just in the first session that we had today. Like the energy is all flowing around you and it's, it's that I guess that's the pranic energy. That's the, the energy that we're feeling and absorbing. And yeah, it was beautiful. I loved it. I'm so happy that it's a part of this, a part of this retreat. Okay, so we focused on doing it all over the body, but also in the stomach, like around the stomach. And when we were doing it around the stomach, I could feel there was like some kind of churning in there, like a nice warm churning and straight afterwards my whole body was kind of just like vibrating like pulsing like another like kind of organism it was so nice so yeah I want to do it more frequently so from the beginning I noticed I'm, I'm gonna base this off the the two sharing circles that we had so the first one we had was two days ago and and that was really nice we got to know each other and it was it was we just like saw where everyone was at in their journey but the, the ultimate thing is we all are here so we're all like that journey is like come together we're all in the same one and essentially now kind of and so that was that day we we're learning about the past journey and and how we came to this point and today when we had the sharing circle everyone kind of let their guard down a little bit everyone came out of the sh came out of there it was, it was okay to speak about their process it was okay and actually the the group energy is lifting everyone up it's everyone is so grateful to have each other because this is an experience that you just wouldn't do alone you know you want to do it in the environment of the group and it was just it's just so nice and I can imagine it's just going to get better and better and we feel like a big family yeah but I, I think you know, at the start, we, we come with our stories from, from, so to, to teach others about us. And, and so once we get past that and we sort of all get to know each other, we're, we're kind of all on the same level and we're all like, okay, let's like take this process on and let's, yeah, experience it all together. What are you going through? Yeah, I am going through the same thing. Yeah, I'm also having dreams about food. Yeah. So it's, it's, really, it's really cool because there's like a support and collectiveness of it. Yeah, I love it. I'm Ali and what drew me to this course firstly was just the idea of not having to consume. Like we all know that it's like a beautiful, beautiful pleasure to be able to enjoy food, but to have the option not to, that's exciting. But the process of getting here was a complete um, manifestation of just everything came together all at once. So originally I first heard about the course when I was um, in Japan and I was kind of on the search for something like this. You know, I didn't know that it existed but somehow it came up and it just felt right. Like I saw the the light generation and just that instant connection connection like that is I've done it I've been there this is this is my calling you know this is my soul journey and it turned out that my auntie coincidentally was also had done this course we never even uh, talked about it but when we did it was like let's do it let's do it together so she's here for the reset she liked it so much she came back <laughs> But um, yeah, it's a journey and it's the process and like, I'm, yeah, I, I was just drawn to it and I think everyone here was drawn to it for the same reasons. And yeah, 
the dry fast. Dun, dun. <laughs> um, I think the way that it's set up is a really nice transition. Like first we have the raw food, like we have the fruit and veg, then we have the um, the juice, the water, and then four days dry fast. I guess I'm not really thinking about it too much. I'm excited for it because it's it's just it hasn't come yet. So it's like the unknown, what's going to happen. But it's also knowing that it's possible. We've seen so many people go through it. Like, you know, we know it's possible. We just have to believe in ourselves. I have to believe in myself and, and do it. <laughs> but yeah, I feel excited about it right now. Midway through the dry fast, maybe it'll be a different story. But right now, I'm excited. Like, to not have to, to, not have to rely on food, like, to not have to rely on that, it's amazing. Like, to be able to reset your body, it's amazing. Well, firstly, it was really hard. To see where you limit yourself, well, see where I limited myself, I didn't know that. I'm, I'm, I was holding myself back. And that was actually the thing I was most looking forward to because I saw it in the documentary about this and I saw the manifestation and everyone, you know, talking about their lives and I'm like, this is what I am most excited for. Manifesting my dream year, my dream life. And I didn't realize how, how, how many barriers I, I put up for myself. I really thought it was going to be easy. Like, oh, it's easy to say what you want. Like, and, and just like give someone a list of all the things you want. And then you real I, I realized I was like s selling myself pretty short. Like, it's, with my partner, we were doing this, um, the technique. So we have like seven minutes um, each to tell each other the, our dream our dream year and they said okay so what what about money what's your what's your dream income and I was like oh seven thousand dollars a month and they were like really uh, and I was like oh sh shit I should I should be asking for more maybe I was like seventeen thousand how about that and they were like big dreamer so I was just like, wow, I'm not setting my bar high enough. Like my glass ceiling is just, I'm not breaking through. I'm not, or I'm not even thinking about breaking through. So like, yeah, it was really hard for me, but it's given me the chance to, you know, reflect. So got some work to do. <laughs> so yesterday I broke the fast with water at our first water ceremony. And it was so sacred. Like we had this whole um, altar and with flowers and it was so beautiful. Everyone and blessed the water. And it was just so beautiful, honoring the thing that we haven't um, been needing to take for f three and a half days to four days. And then just inviting it into our body. So it was so beautiful. Some people were crying today and yeah so it was really really amazing i everyone feels everyone we had like a sharing circle and everyone was saying like my relationship with water is so different now so much better i have appreciation swimming in water the water element everyone feels so connected to it it's like a life source um but just knowing as well that we don't need it, it's so freeing. And so today we started with the juices, uh, half water, uh, diluted with water and half juice. And I noticed that, well actually this morning, I had the more acidic juices because I had been missing like that zesty kind of like lemon, lime, grapefruit, that, those kind of really fresh things. And so that was the first one I went for. And I just had, a, had to step back and I was like, oh, my stomach. Like my tummy wasn't used to this sort of like acidity, you know. Um, so that was nice to just sort of be like, hey, I, it's funny. I thought that I wanted this, but really my body's saying no. So I had to take it easy and just had like a few sips of some, like a papaya juice. It's more um, soft for me. 
And yeah, it was really interesting to see that relationship. Like, I don't need you, but you satisfy me. So that's really beautiful. And I can't wait to take that away from the course and in, in, integrate that into my life because it's a choice now, you know? Like, it, a lot of people, even, even me, I was uh, like, I could have gone more days, but it's because, um, it's because there was such a beauty in the ceremony and a beauty in the, the, you know, the nourishing of the water in your body. It just felt right to do it. But I would like to fast for longer soon. And yeah, I can't wait to implement it into my life and it's really cool because I came here with my auntie and we're both going to be encouraging each other we're going to be staying here for another three weeks and yeah we're going to do an awesome job with that I hope and know so yeah the recommend the guidelines were sort of two weeks juices and water uh, juices if you need and then another four weeks at least on just liquids so that's exciting I know that there's a lot of things we can play around with and my joy for food is just invigorating it's not a need anymore it's not oh it's lunchtime I need to eat something you know it's like a forced thing but now it's a choice and it really feels quite freeing I'm so glad I did this course and yeah i hope to bring my partner to this course next year because i just love it so much <laughs> so yeah it was, it's really amazing i know the journey is still continuing it's it's apparently this is the fun part you know this is so easy we have the group support which is really amazing and everyone is on the same path right now but when we go back home that's when the challenges come so it's going to be a, a challenge, but it's going to be fun because we can figure out how it works for us and it's a process. That's like the key word, like process. So, yeah, thank you so much and wish me luck. <laughs>